Hi guys, uh, thanks for joining me today. My name is Rob and I work for Rivervale Maxxis. We're here today looking at the Maxxis T90 electric pickup truck. Uh, this is the first uh, electric pickup truck into the market in the UK and uh, a very good example of what you can build and what will be coming over the next years. So today we're going to do a review of the vehicle. So as you can see on the front, you have a nice big Maxxis grille like you do on all the, the Maxxis product, very identifiable. You have LED daytime running lights and um, halogen headlights and front fog lights. You have electric folding uh, door mirrors. You have side running steps on the vehicle. All the Maxxis uh, pickup trucks come with alloy wheels, uh, 17 inch. So the vehicle obviously is a four door vehicle, five seats. All three uh, seats, as you see when we look inside, have a three point locking seat belt for safety. Your charging port is behind this uh, cap here and that's operated and open from inside the cabin on the driver's side. Your vehicle comes standard with aluminium roll bars. You can change those because there are certain options you can buy. If you want the aluminium roller shutter, you have to change them to the, the other roll bars that you can buy from factories as an additional option. Again, at the rear of the vehicle, a very distinctive Maxxis styling designed to make the vehicle obviously bash proof as well because it's a nice plastic um, uh, back, back end. You've got a uh, reversing camera located here and you also have rear fog lights. You can have an additional tone bar fitted to the vehicle which can be, again be done at factory for you. And the vehicle has reverse parking sensors that go along with the camera. To access into the rear uh, area, you just pull the handle down. It drops down to 90 degrees, which you can sit on. When you buy the liners, you can have a rug liner or you can have a full um, plastic uh, under tray liner, which will go with the roller shutter. You can also buy canopy hard tops for the vehicle, should that be what you need. So now we've done that, Let's go around and have a look inside the vehicle, show you what we've got. Hi again. So we have artificial leather seats for you. As I said, three point locking seat belts. You have a central cup holder or armrest if there's only two of you in the vehicle. Your charging lead for the vehicle is stored behind your seats from the little pull down lever here. You've got a little bit of storage for bags and your charging lead is just there. You have a couple of charging sockets in the back for your passengers. You have a 12 volt power outlet and you have an AC220 volt socket as well. Okay, so here we are at the front of the vehicle. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna jump in, we're gonna have a quick drive and I'm gonna walk you through the features of the vehicle in the front of the cab. So just before we head off, we're just gonna show you how the Apple CarPlay or Android Link would work. So you just connect your phone using the right hand socket on the USB connectors. It connects the Bluetooth, jump straight into the uh, system and you can then bring up your maps should you want to use your satellite navigation. Your Android apps are all connected to the vehicle. Your phone's connected automatically. So you've got your messages, calendar, audible, uh, you've got your Maxis, which is up there. You've got pages of apps, everything you've got. You've got your charge map, um, Ringo for parking, Google Maps, uh, Zap Map, which is actually, if you're gonna go on a longer journey, you can utilize that and plan your journey through the Zap Map and it will tell you where to stop via charging points and things en route. So that's very handy to have on the system. Okay, so now we're gonna do the test drive of the vehicle. So what we're working with today, we have a vehicle with an 88.5 kilowatt battery. That will give you a vehicle combined range of approximately 220 to 240 miles, depending on how you drive the vehicle. You have a gross train weight on the vehicle, which is 4,050 kilos. Now this is good because it will help you have a uh, payload capacity of one ton. You've got a unbraked trailer capacity for towing of 750 kilos or it will do 1500 kilograms on a braked trailer. To take the vehicle on the road, it's nice and comfortable. As you can tell, electric vehicle, obviously it's very quiet. Uh, so we have within the cabin, a large 10 inch uh, color screen. We have facility for the air conditioning or heating. You have a power and eco function, which obviously with a power function, if you're on a hill when you're towing, is good because it puts an extra bit of push behind the vehicle to pull you up the hill. The eco function works completely opposite. It, it will slow you down a bit, maximize the speed you can travel at, which will help push a bit more range into the vehicle for you while you're driving. Your steering wheel has a function for, uh, connect, it's connected to the phone, so you can answer, drop your calls. You can control your stereo from it or uh, the sat nav, or you've got the voice control. You've got indicators on this one on the right hand side, as are the switches for your auto lights and your front and rear fog lights. Your wipers are based on the left hand uh, stalk, 
and your electric mirrors are right within touch, just on your right hand side on your door. Haven't had a little drive of it, uh, got a feel for the vehicle, and I've driven quite a few pickup trucks. It does feel and ride, based on the fact it's electric, like any pickup truck I've actually driven. It's uh, smooth, it's comfortable. Size-wise, it's comparable to uh, things like the Ranger, uh, the, the Outgone uh, Mitsubishi L200. It's 5.4 meters long, it's just short of two meters wide. Gives it a good footprint on the floor. It has quite a large cargo bed, which is good. The, uh, the Maxxis T90, I can say it will do everything you want your pickup truck to do. You have the added benefit now is all the cost savings you'll have because obviously it's fully electric. So you're not just uh, doing a bit for the environment, you're doing a bit for your pocket. And in the changing world where everything's going up in price, anything you can do to save yourself some pennies is obviously well looked upon. And I have to say, I've really enjoyed that drive. So from uh, as guys here at Maxxis, I'd just like to sign off and say, if you want to book a test drive, give us a call, 01273. 433-953. Ask for myself or Lydia and we'll uh, get you down and we'll get you on a test drive. Thanks for watching.